Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a video that I didn't really plan on doing. I sat down, I kind of started getting ready for a different video and then I saw my packages and I'm like, oh, let me open, open these. And then this was in there. Uh, I did order this, but it, was, it wasn't supposed to be here till like Monday or Tuesday. And so I was excited and i was like oh okay i guess we're doing this video this is the charlotte tilboy instant eye palette smoky eyes are forever okay <laughs> it's just instant eyes palette um the packaging is kind of cute and this is where like all the colors uh that shows all the colors and i'm excited honestly when she first released the promo pictures i was like it kind of looks like other palettes that she's done and overall charlotte tilbury really doesn't go outside of her comfort zone you i don't think you're gonna see like pat mcgrath kind of palettes from charlotte tilbury she's just a very um elegant it's kind of more of those pink tones like she did give us like a green quad in here or trio um so I'm like excited to play with that. But overall, Charlotte Tilbury is just more of a classic look with maybe a, a little bit of a color. So um, this is, I think, more outside of her comfort zone than like giving us all pinks. Let me open it though, because I haven't even opened it. I literally just saw the box on my desk. My husband put it there. Ooh, so the packaging is completely black and I love that. I think that looks so classic and elegant. It has a small Charlotte Tilbury up here and I think it looks so pretty. I like the packaging a lot. And then when you open it, oh, it looks prettier in person. It looks a little bit more unique like this color right here. It looks a very intense in person and sparkly and i'm excited i'm getting a little bit more excited it looks prettier than online and this pink right here looks uh quite uh sparkly and it has more dimension in there uh, i would say that overall charlotte tilbury shimmers are more of a like very soft metallic i wouldn't say that she has the sparkly colors but Maybe we have some some different textures in here. Okay, I'm excited. So I was thinking to do four looks, but at the same time, I, just, I don't know if I'm one to follow directions. I don't think I would just use these 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 together. So um, I don't know. I may do two or three looks because I think if these right here, I probably wouldn't wear them just by themselves. At these. Two of them are pretty shimmery and then one's a matte. Um, so I think I'm just going to mix and match. So we'll see. We'll see what we're doing. If you're interested, please continue watching. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe down below. Uh, and let's get into this makeup. I did forget to mention uh, that you get a free crease uh, brush with your order. At least the, the when I ordered, they had that deal. Okay, so let's look at some of these swatches. Uh, you get five mattes and you get seven shimmers, metallics. Uh, I would say that when I swatched these, they seem to have quite a lot of kickback. The shimmers, uh, they were a little softly pressed. So I think the formula seems a little different than some of her past um, shimmers they're a little softer and I would say even a bit more pigmented and a little bit more dimension in the shadows I think they look great the black one didn't swatch real well but I don't mind that because I don't need black to be extremely intense I actually use blacks just to uh, intensify a look or to tight line or something like that and then I will say that that pink and the last trio uh, is much darker swatched than it looks on the 
uh, in the pan. And so that was, I would say, a little disappointing because I was expecting it to be this bright, vibrant pink with a lot of dimension, but it actually looked more of a deeper mauve color, uh, which is supposed to be more of a smoky trio overall. Okay, so let's move on to the eyes. I am going to start with the slightest shade and just put it all over the lid. This um, is nicely pigmented. It's just overall a good color. I love having a really light color to either put it all over my lid or to smooth things out if I went a little heavy uh, or a little too smoky. I take a shade like this to just smooth out the edges. So I've been looking at the palette trying to think what I want to do. Um, the problem is these light shades for me are more of a uh, toppers. Uh, this pink one could go all over the lid. It looks so pretty. Uh, so I could do a softer look with those. Um, you know what? Let's just do four looks. That way you guys can see every single shade and the way they're kind of meant to be used. But honestly, I wouldn't probably use that way this palette. I may dip in to other shades if I need to, just because I like to play with the colors and all that. So the first one, it's gonna be your prime color, which I already primed. The second one is enhance, and the third one is smoke. I don't think that works real well because you can't really smoke it. This almost is like a topper shimmery shade, I would say. I don't consider that a smoke shade. So this is how these two shimmery shades swatch. And um, I'm just gonna create my own look. So I'm going to take uh, this pink shade right here with my finger and just put it all over the lid. I would say this formula is more consistent with her past formula, the second one right here, um, than the third one. The third one seems to have a little bit more glitter and texture in it. This seems to be more of that softer, pretty formula. I'm going to apply it all over the lid. I will take it with a flat brush just to see how the color packs on if it gets more crumbly or whatever. No, I think it pretty much applies a very similar. And then right in the center, I will take this glittery shade. Pop it right here. Yeah, I would say that this has just a little bit more pigment to it. It's just a little bit more textury, but it's still very soft and elegant. I wouldn't say that this is, you know, a Pat McGrath uh, shadow, but I do think it adds a little bit more dimension. Because I'm going to do four looks, I am going to not put mascara and just wipe these off. And then I do think I'm going to do my fifth look where I incorporate multiple shades in here and then wear that for the rest of the day. Okay, so moving on to the green shadow, which I think I'm probably the most excited about. Um, I just think that second green right here, the shimmery, swatched really well. So I'm going to take the first one and put it in my crease. Okay, that has a lot more pigment than you think. It's like a beautiful browny khaki color.
and put it in this outer corner. On the lower lash line, I will take that first color, smoke it out. And also the last color, the darker one, and put it right here. In the inner corner, I will take this color right here and brighten it up. That picks up so much, so much. And then on my brow bone, I will take the matte shade and brighten this area up. So this is the green look. Uh, I am surprised at how much I like it. I thought when I swatched it that it performed better than I expected. Also on the eye, it did the same thing. It's more pigmented. It has a lot more punch to it, but it's still an elegant green that you can definitely wear uh, and not feel like you're out of place. It's still elegant with a little bit of mascara. It would look really beautiful. So really really loving this more than i thought all right let's move on to the third look i am going to take this color right here i'm actually no scratch that i'm going to take this one right here and set my eye first just to make sure the eye is nice and um just even And I'm going to do the same for this eye, for the look number four. All right, let's move on to this color right here. I'm going to put this in the crease. I expect this to be quite pigmented, yeah. This is the brush that came with the palette, and I really enjoy it. It's very soft, fluffy so it doesn't it doesn't blend just in one spot it kind of spreads the product which is really nice for these darker shades or the crease shades i'm surprised how easy that was to blend um a color like this can be hard just because it has more of that red orangey undertone and those can really stick to your skin but this had no issues Okay, moving on to this color right here. I'm super excited because I think oh, it's very crumbly though. I'll show you right there. It seems like it has a lot of crumbles. So just be careful with that. That is such a beautiful color. Wow. It has so much texture within it. Truly such a beautiful color. I will take my brush and put it on. Um, I will say that it's very crumbly. So I think you could get fallout with this more than with the other shades, which I did. I got some fallout right there but it's worth it because it is so pretty. And then on the same brush, I'm gonna take this middle shade and pack it here at the end. I'm also gonna take this light shade and put it in the inner corner. That is such a beautiful just inner corner shade. I love it. And add it a little bit here. Under the eye, I will take the matte color right here and just smoke it out a little bit. And also, I will take this lighter color on my finger and go in the middle here. I'm actually going to bring it more in the front as well. That's a very beautiful color. It's a very intense. And then take the enhanced shade and add it here. 
All right, that's look number three. Uh, I was very impressed with this color right here. I will say that this one, the green one, the middle green one, in this one right here, they're all different formulas. They are a little bit more crumbly, they're more intense and have a little bit more texture to them. So that's kind of fun. I'm surprised. All right, moving on to the last look. Well, the fourth look, because I will do a fifth one with mascara and everything on. So I will take this middle color right here, this deeper brown, and smoke it out. Again, that's so pigmented. Maybe I added too much. Okay, so that's the first shade. It's nice and pigmented. It's a very rich and it blended really nicely. Okay, moving on to this color right here um which if it would focus there you go it's darker see than you think um and again it has that crumbly feel to it but this looks very smoky on the eye like it is not the way it looks on the pan i will take a brush with this shade i think it works a little bit better it does have a lot of fallout But maybe do your eyes first. And if you want to use like this shade. See how dark that color looks on the lid compared to what's in here. Um, and I will say that in, in the pan it looks much more textury. But because of how dark it goes on the eye, I feel like it loses some of that sparkle within i will wet my brush just to see maybe that would help it a little bit so i'm picking it up and i'm going to put it in the center i think that helped it some yeah It definitely shows the dimension more and that it has, I wouldn't say it's duochrome, but it has just texture in there. It has more sparkles and those definitely show more when you wet the brush, but I don't know. Um, I was more excited about the color before I put it on the eye. I'm going to take this shade oh, one more time and just put it right here to blend in the edges and this one looks just a little patchy here uh, it's probably because I added a little bit too much color initially in this area right here but I really did try to blend it out quite a lot and I don't know it's it's okay it's not amazing I think I see a little bit more darkness here than I would like to. But I'm going to take the black and try to smoke it out even more. See how this black performs. I'm going to take a pretty fluffy brush and slowly build it up in the corner. Take some of that off and then blend it with whatever's left in there. So that black does blend in pretty nicely. Um, not out of this world. Like I'm a little disappointed in this trio right here. Um, I think I had more expectations from this. Uh, I think because it was like the darkest, most smokiest one, I thought maybe it'll be more oomph, like a bit more intense. Um, mostly that shimmer shade. It's not bad, don't get me wrong. It's definitely more of a Charlotte Tilbury standard. Uh, that sounds horrible. Okay, she has amazing shadows, don't get me wrong. But she doesn't have these super intense metallic shades. So for what she's known for, I think, I think they're beautiful. I'm going to take the brown one and smudge it on the lower lash line. 
Again, that smudged really well. Uh, I barely had to put any effort in it. So I really think that the way I applied it right there at the end, I think I applied it too much um, in one area initially. And again, this color right here that I think is so beautiful. I'm actually mixing that with the pink to put it on my inner corner and lower lash line. Ooh, this may be the saving grace, um, this sparkly shade. That one I think adds quite a lot of dimension and it's beautiful. Okay, so this is the fourth look without mascara or anything. Um, I will wipe both of these and do a final look with mascara and everything. But this is the only one that I'm a little bit disappointed and the main issue is that pink um, right here. I think it just, it lacks intensity. It's just a little bit too dull on the skin. Now, if you have deeper skin tone, maybe it's gonna show a little brighter than it does on me. It does create a really smoky eye look, which I think it's nice, but it's just, I wish it was a little bit more intense and more sparkly and just the way it looks on the pin um, or in the pin. I'm gonna take this one right here and just add a little bit of sparkle right on top of it and see how that would look. Ooh. That's nice. That gives a little bit of dimension. I'm gonna take that pink on this finger and blend them in. And again, you know, once you put mascara, the colors pop because they have the very intense black of the mascara to um, make them look more intense. But it's nice. Again, it's a smoky look, but I wish I had a little bit more oomph. Okay, so I'm gonna wipe this off and then come back to do the fifth look that incorporates more of these trios just together. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm excited about this last look because um, I know which shades I like most. So I'm gonna start with this one right here and just pop it all over the lid. I really enjoyed this shade. I think it's just basic good and for my skin tone, it works really well. So I'm gonna focus on uh, the green trio right here. I think a lot of people are gonna buy this palette for that because it's just a little bit more unique and the formula is amazing. So I'm gonna take the first brown right here and put it in my crease. I'm gonna take the same shade and go under my lash line, lower lash line. I really like this brown because it's a little bit more unique and it builds on itself so you can have it more of a lighter color or you can have it just a little bit smokier. It's such a good color. Uh, next, I will take uh, the darker green right here and add that in the outer area or outer corner um, because I want the other green to really pop and not be taken over by this one. So I think adding this one first will give me a good base. I am tempted to do a halo eye, but mm, I'll, I'll skip it. I'll just go with this green all over. Um, I'm gonna start with my finger and maybe go back to a brush. Such a pretty 
beautiful green. I will take my brush with the brown and make sure everything is blended in. And I will pack a little bit more of this deeper green khaki color right at the end. I will take this black right here on a pencil brush and I'm gonna smudge it on the lash line and smoke out this look a little bit more. This blends in nice for the lash line, this black. It's not too intense where um, you're scared to almost use it because it's just gonna make a mess. I think it, it's soft enough and blends in nicely. I didn't love it in my crease as much as I like it on the lash line. I will take this black under as well. With a fluffy brush, I will take this light color and clean the edges out a little bit. It's just such a small detail, but I think it, it makes it look so much more wearable and cleaner and better executed because it just blends in the edges so much better. I will say that this reminds me a little bit of the Pat McGrath green. I will swatch it at the end to see how those look together. In the inner corner, I will take this color right here. I feel like I'm doing the same look I did with the green before, but oh well. I will take this shade a little bit right here, bring it up and fade it into the green. I will spray a brush and take that green and see if I can like really intensify it right in the middle right here. See if that makes a difference, a little bit. I think it makes it to pop a little bit more. So there's a little bit of fallout, not too bad for how intense the shadows were, but I'm gonna clean that, put mascara on and be right back. All right, so this is the final look. I put a lot of mascara. I used my Rare Beauty mascara and I'm loving it. I think it's like pretty, it's colorful, but it's not too intense. It's not like if I'm wearing this, I feel like out of place. I would feel like, oh, I'm a little more made up than normal, but the colors are pretty. They're somehow elegant while having a pop of color so i'm really enjoying it i wanted to swatch the green from this palette so i did a look with this pat mcgrath which one is this midnight sun palette and you guys really wanted to see that look but i feel like it was similar to this so i'm going to swatch these two greens from the charlotte tilbury ones and I'm going to put them next to each other. So those are the two greens. And then I'm going to swatch the green from Pat McGrath. Oh no, it's different. But I'll show you what I did in that video to look similar to this. I took this one right here and popped it on top of the green. And I think that's going to give me a similar, yeah, just a little bit similar color as the um oh my gosh i'm tired as <laughs> the charlotte tilbury one so as you can see this and this have similar vibe i think if i add even a little bit more gold it will make it even more similar to this green right here yeah i knew i i knew i saw it somewhere before and i used it not too long ago and i'm like this looks awfully similar. Um, now the Charlotte Tilbury has a bit a brighter green than this one. This one, because it has that deeper green right here, it becomes a bit more textury because it has that deep 
base and with that gold on top where this one is just overall a lighter green but similar effect so if you're interested in that um, that's how those two are compared so let's talk about my final thoughts on this palette i've used it quite a bit now i've gone through every single shade some of these shades i've used them multiple times um and let me give you my thoughts i think the formula of some of the shimmers is really amped up uh, compared to her last palettes i only own one more big palette from charlotte tilbury and that is the pillow talk and i've used that one so much it's a favorite but this one is a little different i think some of the shimmers are much more intense uh, i would say that this one right here this middle green one this one and even this one are different formula they're texture more texture so if you really rub it in you pick quite a lot of product and it can have quite a bit of fallout um and they are more intense like this one right here it can definitely pack a punch on the lid and it's such a beautiful shade it's that orangey peachy goodness uh definitely reminds me of a sunset color it's it's stunning um again this green you saw it used a couple of times the disappointing one is definitely this one right here even though it has that crumbliness to it like the other ones it's not as intense at least on my skin tone it's almost like i really have to build it up to even show that it has a little bit of that bluish tint in it um it's just not my favorite i'm actually probably not gonna use that much the only thing that i thought i was like what if we put these uh first and then on top of these you add that shade and i think that could look really pretty so i'm gonna do it on my arm so i added the deeper brown from that trio and then i added the pink one on top and i think that's probably how i would wear this i would uh, want to just build it up on top of a deeper color to have it stand out and you could definitely see a bit more of that texture in the shadow because it is pretty it just doesn't show up on my skin tone but i like that that's how i think i would use it and then on top of that i would probably take like this one and pat it and you'd have even more dimension um anyway i'm just playing around but i would say that the trio that i was disappointed is this and I, it's i think it's mainly because of this shade these performed well i felt like this middle one was just a smidge patchy but i also think i added a bit too much in that one area that made it not blend in as nicely as it could have because i used it on the lower lash line and it did so well the most impressive ones are definitely the greens. I love this brown right here. Uh, I love this. I love just everything about the greens. And I am not somebody that just wears green often. I actually wear it very rarely. Uh, because I haven't found greens that I truly enjoy. They're usually a bit too pigmented. They're not quite as elegant as I want them to be. Um, and I'm definitely more of a basic girl when it comes to eyeshadows i love my browns i love my warm tones you know i'm definitely attracted to these right here but we've seen this from charlotte Tilbury more often we haven't seen quite this smokier greenish look although i know one of her other big palettes had some greens in it but again i don't own that i don't own that i don't um i don't have comparison for you guys so overall i really enjoy it i like the different colors that i have i think i can create quite a lot of different looks and it's beautiful uh so overall just because one of the shade is not something that works for me i wouldn't consider this a dud I actually think it's more interesting than I thought and in person they're more vibrant they're more intense the colors and they perform amazing on the eye I was really impressed at how easy it is to use these overall really surprised at how much I enjoy this palette uh, except that one dud color so these are all my thoughts on this palette I hope you guys enjoy it and please leave me comments down below I love to chatting with you guys give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video bye